Hello, and thanks for joining our session today. My name is Samer, and I'm here with Mohammed from our product group. In this session, we'll cover how we're enabling your organization, everyone from organizational leaders and IT decision makers to Microsoft 365 admins and adoption managers with the metrics and insights to measure and drive usage, adoption, and impact of Copilot for Microsoft 365. And by meeting you where you are, our aim is to help you enable everyone in your organization to get the most out of your investment in Copilot for Microsoft 365. To start, Mohammed will walk us through capabilities within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to enable IT admins and adoption managers to measure and drive adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365. Specifically, the new People Experiences category and adoption score we're calling AI Assistance and the Copilot for Microsoft 365 Usage Report. From there, I'll spend a few minutes giving you an overview of the Microsoft Copilot dashboard from Viva Insights to help leaders in your organization prepare for rollout, understand and drive usage and adoption, and measure impact of your investment. There are two versions of the dashboard. The first is included within your Microsoft 365 subscription and is available in public preview today. And the advanced version, which requires Viva Insights license subscriptions, offers added capabilities now in private preview. More on the Copilot dashboard from Viva Insights in a few minutes. But first, I'll pass it to Mohammed to kick us off with experiences for IT pros and Microsoft 365 admins in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Mohammed? Thank you, Samar. I will first start talking about the adoption score and then dive deeper into the AI assistance category. To help accelerate your digital transformation, we introduced adoption score in Microsoft 365 Admin Center under the report section. Adoption score offers a set of insights across both people experiences and technology experiences. People experiences section covers how people are using Microsoft 365 to drive better communication, meetings, collaboration, teamwork, and mobility. Technology experiences, on the other hand, covers how technology is an enabler of productivity in your organization. With AI rapidly entering the day-to-day -day experience of people in your organization, we have introduced a new people experiences category that we are calling AI assistance. Like other people experiences categories in Adoption Score, the new AI assistance category uncovers important patterns in how people in your organization are using Copilot. They are using this to transform the way they work. First, it offers a score on a 100-point scale to quickly assess how well people in your organization are adopting Copilot in Microsoft 365. You can dive deeper into what makes up your AI assistance score by looking at the specific features and activities that drive impact. These include how well your organization is using Copilot to summarize and create content in your organization, be it Teams meetings, Teams chat and channel, email in Outlook, documents in Word or PowerPoint, or in your feed. And we plan to continually add more feature adoption metrics as our product teams release them. In summary, the AI assistance category in Adoption Score is built for adoption managers to quickly identify copilot usage rates to inform adoption strategies. We have also introduced the Microsoft 365 Copilot Usage Report in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The Copilot Usage Report includes two sections readiness and usage. We will start with the readiness section. We want to make sure that you have the information you need to assess your readiness for Microsoft 365 Copilot enablement and inform your user licensing plan. In the technical eligibility section, we provide an overview of the key requirements that users must meet in order to use Copilot, like qualifying base licenses and update channels. Once purchased, the report displays the total number of available and unassigned Copilot licenses so that you can ensure you are utilizing every purchased license. Below this, we have included a set of metrics to help you scope the users in your organization who can benefit from Copilot based on their usage of Microsoft Copilot or Microsoft 365 apps where Copilot brings value. Lastly, to help you prioritize users for license assignment, we've also included a user table with a list view of individual users' readiness information, including whether they have usage on a qualified app update channel and actively used Microsoft 365 apps. Usernames are anonymized by default, and only a global admin can change this. 
As with any Microsoft 365 app or service, once your organization is onboarded, you'll want to track, assess, and drive usage. Moving on to the usage section of the report, our aim is to give you the actionable insights you need to ensure successful adoption. The usage report first displays enabled users and active users and the active users rate. Here, a user is active if they have taken at least one intentional action using Copilot in the selected period. In the adoption chart, we can see enabled and active users of Microsoft 365 Copilot with a breakdown of these numbers for each Microsoft 365 app. Again, with the option to view these metrics as totals or trends for the selected period. Similar to the readiness section, the usage section includes a user level table showing you a list of individual users with their last activity date per app. Again, the usernames are anonymized by default and only a global admin can change this. So when we think about how to best enable you to drive usage and adoption of Microsoft 365 apps, it's important that we not only provide the most relevant metrics, but also give you a means to act on the data. With the introduction of organizational messages within usage reports, you can reach users in their flow of work through services like the Windows 11 Notification Center or within the apps they use every day like Microsoft Teams. For example, here within the usage reports for Copilot for Microsoft 365, we have an action card to configure an organizational message to encourage users in your organization who have not used Copilot in the last 30 days. You can select Schedule Message to initiate the message creation process. On scheduling a message, this message creation process starts on the right rail. You can choose from a list of message templates. A preview is shown on how the message will be displayed in the rail itself. You can define the recipient list. You can also set the start date and end date and the frequency to which the message needs to be sent. And then you can go ahead to schedule the message. Once scheduled, you can go back to the message to review the details with the option to cancel the message at any time. I will now pass it back to Samer, who will walk us through the Copilot dashboard in Viva Insights for organization leaders and IT decision makers. Over to you, Samer. Thanks, Mohamed. We just saw how you can use adoption score and usage reports for your Copilot for Microsoft 365 in the Admin Center to plan for rollout and drive awareness and adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365. Now, for organizational leaders and IT decision makers, the Copilot dashboard from Viva Insights brings readiness, adoption, impact, and sentiment insights into a single view, enabling your organization to maximize the value of your Copilot for Microsoft 365 investment. So like I mentioned earlier, there are two versions of the dashboard, the version available to all Microsoft 365 customers and the version enabled with your Microsoft Viva subscription, starting with the version that's available with Microsoft 365. Upon launching the dashboard, you'll see there are four tabs, readiness, adoption, impact, and sentiment. The readiness tab helps you plan for deployment and understand how many people in your organization are well positioned to benefit from Copilot for Microsoft 365 by displaying the total number of active Microsoft 365 app users over the last 28 days and a breakdown of Microsoft 365 app feature usage for the features that are most relevant to Copilot for Microsoft 365. It also covers the number of prerequisite licenses and the number of users on an eligible update channel, along with useful resources on getting started with Copilot for Microsoft 365. Once rollout is underway, the adoption tab covers how many people and in what ways people in your organization are using Copilot for Microsoft 365. It displays the total active users over the last 28 days with a breakdown by Microsoft 365 app. And the adoption tab also includes how many people in your organization are using Copilot at the app feature level, showing you the number of actions per Copilot feature and the number of actions on average per user. Moving over to the impact tab, org leaders can get a sense for the potential time savings impact by looking at the number of Copilot users in the company, coupled with what the research says, namely Copilot users say they save 1.2 or more hours per week. The impact tab in this version of the dashboard also helps leaders understand the scope of potential impact by looking at Microsoft 365 activity in the corresponding Copilot research. And finally, organizations can compare your user sentiment by running qualitative surveys and comparing that against global benchmarks. Now, moving to the Microsoft Copilot dashboard with Viva Insights licenses, the readiness tab offers the same readiness insights. 
As we get into the Adoption tab, we can start to look at adoption insights with segmentation by organizational metadata, giving finer grain view of how your organization is adopting Copilot for Microsoft 365. We can look at the tenant level view or select the scope of interest. And similar to what we saw before, total active Copilot users and a breakdown by apps and features. Now where it starts to get really interesting is that we can look at how Copilot usage is spread across the company. Looking at Copilot users by different groups in the organization by apps and specific Copilot for Microsoft 365 features. Next, moving over to the impact tab, beyond tenant level aggregates, with the Viva Insights license subscriptions, organizational leaders and IT decision makers can start to see how Copilot for Microsoft 365 usage may be impacting important behavioral patterns across key work scenarios like meetings, email, chat, and documents. For example, looking at meetings, we can see the number of meetings summarized per user per week and the relevant change in behavior. Diving deeper, we can see how behaviors have changed comparing the measures before and after Copilot and the percentage difference. Looking at the same behavioral measures, we can compare groups like non-Copilot versus active Copilot users, giving us a stronger sense for the impact. And we can break down and visualize these group comparisons by different organizational attributes. In addition to qualitative measures, organizations want to understand user sentiment at the group level too. So in the Copilot dashboard with Viva Insights licenses, you can look at running qualitative surveys to compare your organization's sentiment against global benchmarks, review verbatim feedback, and segment this sentiment data by different areas in the organization to inform adoption and enablement strategies. Finally, the Copilot dashboard from Viva Insights offers leaders and IT decision makers a curated set of AI relevant content from Microsoft to help you stay connected. We want to help organizations maximize the value out of Copilot for Microsoft 365 by providing contextual insights to leaders to help them understand the adoption and impact of their investments in Copilot. Meanwhile, also helping IT professionals to enable their organizations to achieve that full potential. We invite you to take a look at resources that we've got here. Learn more at adoption.microsoft.com slash copilot. Take a look at the documentation for the AI assistance category and adoption score and the Copilot for Microsoft 365 usage report. And we invite you to explore the dashboard at aka.ms slash copilot dashboard. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for joining us today.